snacks. What it do, snack is the snack guest. It's your boy Gage. I'm here at BlurCon 2018. BlurCon! Thank you, I appreciate that. Listen, look who's with me. Look who's with me. Old friends. Greg, Marcus, what up, what Tuskegee Airs, yes, other things too, search with Sadiqa, there's a lot happening here. Right. <laughs> a few things may have changed since the last time we talked. Yes. What's not new is you're tired. <laughs> That's not new. That's not new. But, a lot of times, talk to me. What's going on? What's happening? And, um, trying to get the uh, third issue of Tuskegee Airs knocked out so we can get that graphic novel out. We're hoping to have it by Dragon Con. Uh, if not, we'll have it by uh, New York Comic Con. Uh, okay. Um, or we'll beat each other up. Yeah. It'll be no good. We'll um, figure it out. Working on pages for the search for Sadaka. I got a, another uh, guy that's doing the line work, Shannon. He's dope. He uh, actually did the line work on this page right oh, here. Yeah? Uh, Marcus colored. Okay. Marcus ain't going to be coloring uh, the comic unless I kidnap him and <laughs> you know, force him to. You know. It's hard, man. And, and the guy Shannon is dope. He's really, really dope. Yeah. I'm turning over more and more responsibilities to him. Okay. But he's dope. And I'm work, you know, coming off working with this guy all the yeah. time. So my level of comfortability. That's, that's a lot to live up to. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot to live But up he's to. knocking it out. Man. We, okay. we got uh, about four pages done right now. Okay. And we're rolling. We got colorists. Um, the young lady actually colored backgrounds. Our name is Pat Dad. Uh, she colored the backgrounds on this. And Marcus did, you know, the the characters and everything. Um, new, we are actually a full publishing company right now. Uh, so we're getting ready to, of course, we're going to launch this. Got some other stuff we're working on. And then we're going to, um, you know, like we're, we're kind of like making a little roster right now. So we got some artists, we got some colorists, we got some writers uh, that we'll be bringing along. Once we're able to make it to where it's profitable, I mean, okay. we don't like to. That makes sense. Yeah, anybody that's working with us is getting paid. I, and if they're not, true. if we can't pay you, then we're not gonna. Why do it? Why do it? Okay. What are you most excited about? Everything. Everything. Uh, <laughs> we're working. Uh, we're working on animation, uh, trying to get that stuff together. Right. To where we can get a show, so super excited. I'm not gonna say anything right now. now I saw some posts with some fight choreography kind of thing yeah. happening. So of course that's yes, exciting. Yeah. Um, the search for Sadika is exciting just because it's a story that you know uh, it came to me like in a dream. Yeah. And at first I started writing it as a novel, and I got like a couple hundred pages in, and I was really? like, you know what? People need to see it. They that, need to see video. it. Okay. And we're seeing that with Tuskegee Airs. You saw the young, the yeah. young lady that just was cosplaying yeah. Genesis. Yeah. Um, you know, we're seeing that when people get to see it, 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 they, it, they relate they, on yeah, a different can, level. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So um, definitely excited about this. And just, you know, trying to keep push forward, pushing forward, so I don't have to work in my job no more. Even though I love my boss. My boss is amazing. <laughs> I can believe I it. Her. I can believe it. I love her to death. Yeah. Make sure we tag her in it so that she yeah. knows that you yeah. said that. She knows I do. Oh, okay. Okay. So, you know. I dig that. But yeah, I'm trying to get out of that bad way. I understand. So talk to me for a second about what that was like. Like that moment we walked over here first. There's somebody here who's cosplaying one of the characters that you created. Like it's not the first time you've seen that, right? I mean, no, no, no. We've, it, had, but... we've had um, uh, Terrence Bolden Johnson. You know Terrence. Mm -hmm. He did Colonel Mars at New York Comic Con a couple of years ago. So we've had people, you know, um, but the story with this nice lady today is I was coming to get my badge to check in and I hear somebody yelling my name. And coming down the escalator, she has the Genesis, you know, gear on and I've had like two hours of sleep. So I'm like, uh, like if you could hear the harps and stuff playing in my mind, and there was like a, a light behind her, which gave an aura, and I was just like, this isn't real, you know? And she did like such a good job, like detailed. She did it all on her own, you know what I'm saying? Like handmade, and so I'm sitting here, it's, it's amazing. Um, we didn't, when we started off, we just came up with an idea, and we got, you know, and so now to see that, you know, somebody would spend, you know, hours upon hours yeah. of their time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's hard to explain. It's hard for me to 
put in words exactly how you feel. Yeah. It's just crazy. I mean, whatever it is, it's enough that it means that people have a connection, right? Like they feel a connection. I think it's dope to do something that you find that people connect with. You know what I mean? So. Um, I think that's I think that's dope, man. I think that's dope, man. I look, I know y'all are gonna do bigger and bigger and better things. It's gonna be harder and harder for us guys like us to get close to guys like y'all. Y'all, but, y'all grandfathered in. Hey, listen, hey, look, hey, look. Y'all grandfathered in. Like straight up, appreciate what y'all do. Love the work that y'all are doing. Tell the folks about the children's books too. Don't let them forget about the children's books. Let them know about that. I keep sometimes I forget that I did these. You can't do that. You uh, gotta, yeah, that's important. It's been a while, you know. Started like, being moved to this. Yeah, 2013, 2014. Um, but I did a couple of children's books. I'm actually working on some other ones, but it's kind of slow motion okay. with all the other stuff that we have going on. But yeah, that, that's a passion. That's how it. Uh, that's how we started back into publishing, you know, and getting back into it and had a lot of success with them. Sell them out like every store I put them in. So yeah, love them. Um, Thanks. Yeah, and like I said, I'm going to keep working, uh, keep working on more. Because Let's do it. I, we what are they, 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 they want to well, get Well, um, right now you can go on Amazon, actually, uh, from Broken Glass and Grandpa oh, yeah. Shoes. Uh, you can get these on Amazon right now. I'm working on uh, pulling away because I actually had a publisher for these. So I'm working on, you know, being a little bit more self-sufficient. Um, I also sell them in stores, but it's more like a based on request type of thing. Also, you can hit me up on Facebook and Instagram, and we can work out a little side deal. I can send them out to you. So, yeah, if you need it, I can get it to you. Okay. So tell them how they can find out about everything else. Oh, man. Uh, TuskegeeAirs.com. TuskegeeAirs on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter sometimes. Uh, I'm Greg Burnham. Yeah. Greg Burnham books on Twitter. Greg underscore Burnham7 on uh, Instagram. And Marcus is Marcus the Visual everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He did. He's smarter than me. Don't tell him I said that. Though. But uh, yeah, in that Ooh, one instance, yeah, he, he knocked it out of the park. Okay. I got like 75 handles. He got one. Yeah, that's a lot. You might have to condense that. One day. Figure it out. All right, bro. As always, thanks a lot. pleasure, man. Look, we still here. It's the first one, but it's BlurCon. It's 2018, and we got a lot more to do. So, for now, I'm out. Toodles and loose. Loading snacks. <sighs>